All right, doing a super quick demo on this flawed, but could be great instrument, Volgoa. It is, I'll, I'll let you hear it, but for the most part, there's a couple bigger problems. One, the frets are lifting on almost the entire neck. So you only get a few good notes and most of them either are nearly dead or completely dead. And the tuners are actually quite good. They're locking, locking tuners. My lighting's all over the place, but so be it. It's a roasted maple neck, real roasted. It has some high pressure laminate fingerboard. The frets are stainless steel. The trick they do to prevent some of the cheapness where you roll off easy is they have it all the way on the high east side and then on, on the east side it's a little bipolar. The inlays on it are like a perloid, fake perloid. There is literally almost no rounding over on the fingerboard. Bridge pickup is mounted just good. Neck pickup, let's see if you can see that. It doesn't look as bad on video, but it's a pretty significantly angled that way towards the pole pieces being too far down. I would have to look at it the exact cause. It could be a handful of things. It's volume and tone works fine. It seems to be actually decent quality. It has a three-way switch. Some sort of switch that I thought was just going to be a coil split and didn't really look at it. It might be trying to be a parallel series, parallel thing. Um, but in reality, the pickups sound out of phase, almost the, no matter what I do. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm in focus. So the bone nut, I think it's real bone. The nut slot is all sorts of janky. So you would have to flatten it to make it correct and probably either rework this if it's bone or put bone in there. The neck angle is definitely incorrect. So the action is a little bit on the high side, but it doesn't matter because the frets are bad. So you have to lower the saddles to get it somewhere relatively playable. It has real stainless steel saddles and it could do string through or string through the back. It comes string through the back with 9 through 11s. It's a 42.3 millimeter nut. We're going to be really exact. I mean, it has potential. Humbuckers are not coil split at all. This is like a gainy sound. That's like the single coil, I'm guessing. much a difference. Bridge in the single curl, I guess. Middle. Bri nope, it's like inverse on the on the bridge. What I get for trying to hold something that slides around. The middle pickup if you really like it. Gosh, it's nasty. All right, I'm gonna just leave my blues breaker on just to have a little bit of something on there. That's the neck, middle, bridge. As you hear, super microphonic. Uh, normal jack has the wider. I would just pass. Maybe they'll improve it. You could try it. If you can't return it, don't bother. 
it could be really good. It's actually kind of a nice looking guitar, even though the neck is pretty massive, not fully carved. It's manageable and you could always just sand it down and put a light oil on it for the price that these come in at. I think it's $230. I'd rather pay $350 and have it done correctly. So there's that. Hopefully it's helpful. The model and all that will be in the description. This is just supposed to really tell you kind of buyer beware. This is what you get, but there's serious problems. You're going to have to, hopefully, because it's high pressure laminate, be able to press the frets in with like super glue or glue it down. Um, and then probably still have to do fret leveling. So it's really not worth it for me given that there are all sorts of issues that I don't feel like making a brand new guitar out of an existing guitar if I don't have to. All right, hope this helps.